Okay, so PCI, percutaneous coronary intervention. So what we're seeing here is angioplasty. So it's cool. They actually have a deflated balloon. It's like a deflated, like those skinny balloons you see clowns blow up and they make into a balloon doggy or something. But they actually put thread it through a blood vessel. And before they used to just put thread it through, inflate it, and kind of push open the walls of a blood vessel. So that's what we call angioplasty. But what we see here is now... Yeah, so you need a catheter to kind of guide it through and yeah, then you have to inflate this balloon. But what we have here is these are these stents. So this is what looks like this little lattice fence. So notice that it's kind of folded and the cool thing about these stents is that they're kind of accordion. So they can make them a small diameter but you can put them around these balloons and put them the balloon and thread it through these um, collapsed stents. And where you need to kind of open up these stents then you can inflate that balloon and then now you can have this kind of like wire mesh holding this blood vessel open that was previously narrowed. And some of the fancier stents, they actually are able to embed some sort of like anticoagulants or other types of drugs that help to kind of prevent the vessel from, but I think those are more experimental and more fancier things. Yeah, so it's a really common, you, this is kind of like the, what you would typically see in the, trying to treat a uh, coronary or occlusion that can be treated like this. Yeah, so what happened if the balloon popped? So the thing is like, yeah, you don't want the balloon to pop, <laughs> especially if like you have liquid or, yeah, you don't want to have, a, especially if you're using, I think, what do they use now? I have to look that up. But yeah, this is what, um, I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah, so yeah, that's the other thing too. They're trying to always, improve like mesh materials like compatibility with the surrounding tissues or will there be prone it will be prone to developing plaques around the plaque so yeah that's where they're always trying to make advancements in medical instruments all right so then another way you can do that prevent it say you can't actually use a stent or angioplasty what you will do can do is take like a vein like the great saphenous vein and create a like another workaround of, from it. So you can take a vessel, graft it onto the aorta, and then bypass that occlusion completely. Oh, I think this one's a little offset. But yeah, what you can do is like do this, and now you can, yeah, prevent that. Okay, so yeah, there used to be this like, I think it started in Arizona, but it was called the Heart Attack Grill. And the interesting thing is like, yeah, what it was, I think the only surviving one is in Las Vegas, but it's kind of twisted. And what they, what's a big risk factor for developing a heart attack? Well, things like high levels of triglycerides and fats. And this guy used to be the spokesperson for a heart attack grill. They had a really twisted campaign, like you're over 350 pounds, you eat for free. And as you can see, nurses don't dress like this, by the way. And so they had these waitresses dressed like nurses. And then, yeah, they had something called the quadruple bypass burger. It was pretty twisted. And so how's he doing now? Well, he ended up dying of a heart. He died at 29. I know, it's crazy. It was just like, oh. And it's, it's really twisted. The owner says, like, I do this to show how unhealthy like uh, how this type of diet is and it's like oh my god yeah it's crazy but what is a quadruple bypass so the single bypass well you have an infarct here you graft a blood vessel from one of the major arteries or aorta and then put it past that initial blockage but a double pipe bypass i mean it's not necessarily at these vessels but i'm just showing examples so double bypass means you now you have to graft two new vessels to deal with two different blockages. Triple bypass, well, now we have multiple vessels and multiple blockages, so we want to graft on more of these. And then quadruple bypass, yeah, so quadruple bypass burger. So say you have multiple blockages and inclusions in your heart. So what you have here, yeah, all these vessels being grafted on and trying to create workarounds from these block vessels. So that's why it's pretty serious. Okay, so let's do a very quick top hat, two quick top hat questions. Yeah, so this was, it's the number one leading cause of death in the United States. It's pretty perennial. It's been number one for a long time. Next question. 
or actually let me go on to another back to our presentation okay so what does an MI look like okay back to top hat so who do you think gave the most realistic impression okay let's see the responses so this the most popular response was the second man and then the last two people were the next most popular okay so let's see the answer yeah so that's the interesting thing is like you saw that he was it was very very subtle yeah so again heart attack so diabetes number seven this is why I cover diabetes in depth it's pretty important stroke we'll cover that maybe in a few lectures and then heart attacks included in many of the heart diseases heart disease have for I should check how many but it's like always number one for the past decade or so and I think COVID actually moved up to number three they were initially worried that would take overtake heart attacks but and heart disease but yeah this is why cardiovascular health is very important now what are the symptoms well you notice that I kind of had the clutching but you get dizziness, nausea, or okay, they won't cover up. But the other interesting thing is that you also have pain as well. All right, so then pain in arm and shoulder, that's another common thing. And then shortness of breath. So it can be very subtle. Like they might feel like, okay, I feel this tightness in my chest. I feel kind of like weak, but they won't be like gasping for air or like having those very dramatic sort of reactions. Sometimes a heart attack can be subtle. And sometimes you have what you could was called a silent MI. Some people have heart attacks and they walk it off and it's only when we put an EKG on them or an echo later on that we see that they hey some of your cardiac tissue has died 